Good morning, Marathon. <laughs> it's Thursday, September 6th. I'm Raven. And I'm Aaron. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DNN. DNN. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now back to you. You may now be seated. Students may not stay after school unless they are under the direct supervision of a teacher. All students with no scheduled and supervised activity must exit the campus at 2.30. This applies as well to all athletic events. Students must go home and then return at the appropriate start time of the event. The deadline has passed for schedule changes. There will be no more changes this semester. Varsity letter jacket order forms are available now and due October 15th. See Coach Freeman if you are interested in ordering one. Order up. Seniors and juniors, the Greater Chamber of Commerce presents the Ready, Set, College Night on September 19th from 5.30 to 7.30, hosted by FKCC. Topics reviewed are writing and paying for college. Bring your parents for this very important event. Champions for Change is a new club on campus this year, open for 8th through 12th grade. The club meets every other Tuesday after school in the Success Center. The first meeting of the year will be September 18th. Please see Dr. Bellotti in room 4207 for more information. Get that info. SWAT Club stands for Students Working Against Tobacco. If you are interested in joining this club, please see Dr. Bellotti. The first National Art Honor Society meeting will be Thursday, September 13th during high school lunch. New members are welcome and snacks will be provided. Mmm, yummy. Youth tennis is happening right now. It will last six weeks if you are ages 5 through 17 and would like to participate and contact Austin Hubs at 305-743-6598. And now for this week's upcoming sports events. Hey there, Fins fans. This is Jackson with a sports update. This week, volleyball has a big week. They play Key West at home on Tuesday at 5. Core Shores on Wednesday at home at 4. And Somerset Silver Palms at home on Friday at 3.30. Come out and watch them take on their county rivals. Varsity football will play Florida Christian at 4 Friday at home. Middle school football opens their season Thursday at 4, taking off Florida Christian at home as well. Cross Country has the King of the Hill race at Tropics Park in Miami on Friday afternoon. And the big news this week, swimming is back in the water, and they'll travel to Coral Shores Wednesday to take on the Canes and Doral Academy. Good luck to all of our fall teams this week. That's all for today, Fins. Stay tuned for the PBIS prize wheel, which we are airing today due to the internet problems we had earlier this week. I'm Raven. And I'm Aaron. And, and you've, you've been, been watching, watching DNN. DNN. What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's time for the PBIS prize wheel. Remember, the teachers who nominate the winning students will win any item of their choice from the teacher's snack machine in the copy room. Uh, that's a value of up to $1.15. Now let's get into the wheel. For high school, we have Isaac Mills Apps, Evan Patterson, Daniela Botet, Christopher Flores, Emerson Guerra, Josh Anderson, and Dante Leonard. And for middle school, we have Mason Buxton, Daniela Downs, Amelia Burns, Janaya Pyreform, Alejandro Gonzalez Gomez, um, Marisol Diaz, Jason Cobius, David Ornelas, Martin Kilborn, Skylar Kofit, Eric Bravo, and Adam Gonzalez. A couple other people, too. Um, let's see who won for high school. Congrats, Emerson Guerrera. Let's see what you got, buddy. Andy, sweet. All right. Let's see who our middle school winner is. Oh, sorry. The teacher that won for um for high school is Miss Abbott. Congrats. All right, middle school. Congrats to Dimitri Ariel and the teachers, Miss Sokolowski. Let's see uh, what you got. Candy. All right. That's from the PBS Prize Wheel. I'm Jackson, and I'll see you next time.